I went over the basics of objects in a previous video. Now I will talk about other things you can do with objects. You can see the list of what we will cover on the screen. The first thing is using objects for lookups. Objects can be thought of as key value storage, like a dictionary. If you have tabular data, you can use an object to look up values in the data. Here's an example of a simple reverse alphabet lookup. So you just create the data you want in, in this alpha object. So 1 is Z, 2 is Y, 3 is X, and then so on. I'm not going to put all the letters in there. But then you can just do console.log alpha 2. So you can find out what letter is the second letter in the reverse alphabet. Next up is removing object properties. So I'm going to create this object here, dishes, um, with plates, 8, cups, 10, and so on. And if you just do delete the name of the object and then the name of the property, it's going to delete that, that property. Let me run that. And you can see right in here, there are no more cups. And the Y up here from the reverse lookup. Now testing objects for properties. Sometimes it is useful to check if the property of a given object exists or not. I briefly discussed this in my previous video. You just use the has own property method on the object. So dishes that has own property plates, dishes that has own property cups. We're checking if we have the we have the property plates and cups. We deleted the property cups, so we have true it has plates and false it does not have cups. Okay, now we're going to talk about accessing and modifying nested objects. Object properties can be nested to any depth, and their values can be any type of data supported by JavaScript including arrays and even other objects. So the sub-properties of objects can be accessed by chaining together the dot or bracket notation. In this object called our stores, we have two properties, desk and cabinet. But each of the properties, desk and cabinet, contains an object as the value. So here's an object that just contains the property drawer. Here's an object that contains the object top drawer, top drawer and bottom drawer. And inside the top drawer, we have another object. So we can access an object within another object by using the dot or bracket notation. So right here, we have our storage dot cabinet. Here's the dot notation to access the, the cabinet. And then we're going to use the bracket notation, which you always need the bracket notation anytime the property has a space in it. So we're going to get to this top drawer, and then we're going to use the dot notation again to get inside the folder too. And then here we're just looking at inside rstores.desk.drawer, which will be right here. You can also use the bracket and dot notation to assign a new value to a property that's nested inside an object. So here we have the cabinet top drawer dot folder two. That's what we have up here, but instead of just console.logging it, we are going to use the assignment operator, the equal sign, to set that to cake recipe, and then I'm going to log it again. First of all, in folder two, we have secrets, which you can see here, and then we're just going to check what's in the drawer, which is a stapler, which you can see here. Then we're going to assign folder two to cake recipe, and we're going to log folder 2 again, and now it's not secrets anymore. It's just a cake recipe, which anybody can learn. And the last thing I'm going to cover in this video is how to generate an array of all object keys. And the object keys are just the properties. But we can generate an array that contains all the keys stored in an object using the object.keys method and passing in an object as the argument. This will return an array with strings representing each property in the object. So uh, we're going to call it object.keys. You're not going to put the reference to the object. You're going to actually put the word object dot keys, and then you're going to put what the object is inside these parentheses here. And you can see in our storage, we just have desk and cabinet because it's only going to give the first level. It's not going to go into the object to get the, the second, the nested object. Well, thanks for watching. My name is Bo Carnes. Don't forget to subscribe and remember, use your code for good.